You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. just couldn't wait for the first snow of winter. Every morning he wished for snow. No snow yet. Caillou knew he had to wait a little longer, but it was hard. He wanted to play in the snow. Caillou watched and waited for the snow to fall. Still no snow. Don't worry, Caillou. The forecast said it would snow today. You just have to be patient. Sometimes waiting for something <gasps> is the hardest thing to do. Come on, Gilbert, you can do it. Jump, Gilbert. Caillou was trying to teach Gilbert a new trick, but Gilbert wasn't very interested. Come on, Gilbert, you can do it. Jump! Lie down, Gilbert. Lie down. Stay. Gilbert! <gasps> mommy, Mommy! What is it, Caillou? It's snowing! It's snowing! Aren't the snowflakes pretty? Can I go outside and play? Of course you can. Yay! <laughs> Caillou was in a big hurry to go outside. Whoa there. I think you'll be walking around in circles like that. <laughs> I'll walk like a duck. Quack, quack. I'm gonna build a snowman. I don't think there's enough snow for that yet, Caillou. Caillou knew Mommy was right. There wasn't enough snow for a snowman, but he could still make snow angels. <laughs> Caillou started thinking about the snowman he was going to build when there was more snow. Caillou imagined himself building the biggest snowman ever. <laughs> wow! the biggest snowman in the whole world. But I have to wait till there's more snow first. Look, I can catch snowflakes. I bet I can catch more snowflakes than you can. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you 
know that every snowflake is different? They look the same to me. That's because they're too small to really see. Wait here. I'll be right back. Caillou knew exactly what they needed to look at small things. A magnifying glass. Good idea. They're falling too fast. Caillou, quick! Caillou wondered how they were ever going to look at the snowflakes if they kept melting. Look, it's sticking over there. They are all different. It's true. I told you. Hey, how about we make our own snowflakes? How? Come on, I'll show you. Sarah had learned how to make paper snowflakes at school. So she showed Caillou how to make them too. First, you take a piece of white paper and fold it into a square. Rosie, play too! Then you take the scissors. Rosie, scissor! No, Rosie, you're too small. Why don't you draw some snowflakes instead? Rosie draws snowflakes. These scissors are just for big kids like Sarah and me. What do I do next? Cut the corners very carefully. Then cut all around the edges to make different designs. Then you unfold the paper and ta-da! 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 Very good, Rosie. Caillou was proud of his snowflake and he noticed something very special about it. Look, they're different, just like real snowflakes. Gilbert, look, we made snowflakes. I guess Caillou really did teach Gilbert a new trick after all. <laughs> Caillou shoots, he scores. Oh. Caillou loved to skate. He especially loved to skate really, really fast. Look how fast I can go. Wow, you're as fast as a rocket. Whoa! Upsie daisy. <laughs> Uppy daisy. Caillou could remember when he was just as shaky on skates as his little sister. He was very proud to be such a good skater now. Hi, Billy. Hi, Caillou. Caillou loved to watch the big kids play hockey. They could skate so fast, he wanted to be just like them. What do you say, sport? Had enough? How about a cup of hot chocolate? Daddy, can I play hockey too? Oh, I don't know, Caillou. I'm big enough now, and I'm a good skater. As fast as a rocket. Well, that's true, but I don't think you're big enough to play on a team. I could play with Billy. Well, let's ask him. Billy! Can I play hockey with you sometime? If you don't mind. Sure, we're just fooling around. You can play with us whenever you like. Thanks, Billy. Well, I guess we're going to have to get you some equipment. Can I get a real hockey helmet and gloves like Billy's? You bet. And a stick, too, don't forget. Yay! The next day, Daddy took Caillou to a sports store to buy hockey equipment. This is the second-hand equipment. When kids get too big for their gear, they trade it in here for larger sizes. 
<laughs> Look, Daddy. <laughs> Too big. Here, try this. Too small. Just right. It doesn't hurt, Daddy. Good. Here, try these on. Let's go. I want to show Mommy and Rosie. Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting the two most important things of all? I need a stick and a puck. Daddy found a hockey stick, but it was too long for Caillou. So the man in the store cut it to the exact right length. And now Caillou had everything he needed to play hockey with Billy. He was so excited. And this is my hockey stick and my gloves and... <laughs> you bird, you can't fit in there. Very nice, Caillou. You can knock on my head and it doesn't even hurt, Rosie. Caillou's head hard. <laughs> <laughs> The next day, Daddy helped Caillou practice shooting the puck. Yay! That's a pretty good shot there, Sport. Yay! Nice shot, Caillou. Afternoon, Caillou couldn't wait to get on the ice. He knew he was ready to play with the big kids. Take it slow, Caillou. Remember, it's not easy to play hockey. Hey, Caillou. <laughs> oh, Daddy was right. It was harder than Caillou thought it would be. They're pretty good, aren't they? I'm not good enough. I don't want to play anymore. Hey, Caillou. I thought you did pretty well for your first time out. Remember, Billy and his friends have been playing a lot longer than you. I guess so. I've got something for you. This used to be mine when I was young. Wow! Thanks, Daddy. It's a little big yet. <laughs> if you keep practicing, by the time this fits you, you'll be able to play just as well as Billy and his friends. Really? You bet. Now, I think I know a good place to go and practice. Caillou loved going over to skate at Leo's house because he had his very own backyard rink. Whoa! Now you pass it to me. <laughs> Caillou was glad to be practicing with his best friend. He knew they would get better together. with an assist by Caillou. <laughs> that night, Caillou was very tired from all his hockey practice, but he was happy. He knew that someday when he was big enough to wear daddy's jersey, he'd be a really good hockey player. Perfect. Once is not enough. 
you gotta practice day and night. Over and over and over again, you've gotta practice till it's right. I remember when I wanted to learn to skate. So I practiced over and over again, and soon I could skate great. Practice makes perfect, that's what I say. Practice makes perfect every day. Practice makes perfect, I'll say it again. Practice and you'll succeed in the end. Playing soccer is hard. It is. You've got to give it your best try. I will. Practice over and over again, and soon you'll kick real high. Practice, Practice makes perfect, perfect, that's what I say. Practice, Practice makes perfect every day. Practice makes perfect, we'll say it again. goes to bargaining. <laughs> Caillou was very excited this morning. He couldn't wait to get to play school. You're certainly keen to go to school today, Caillou. Today we're going to bargaining. <gasps> Do you have to bring a toboggan? Yes. I'm going to take my green space racer. Oh, Caillou. Why are you just telling me this now? It's time to go. Don't you know where my toboggan is? I'm not sure. We haven't been tobogganing yet this year, but let's look. Quickly. <laughs> Mommy and Caillou looked in the basement. <laughs> and they looked under the stairs. even looked in the attic, but they couldn't find Caillou's toboggan anywhere. I'm sure we'll find your toboggan tonight. But I need it today. I'm sorry, Caillou, but we have to go. Maybe there'll be extra toboggans at school. Caillou was sad that he didn't have his toboggan. There are no extra toboggans, Caillou, but I'm sure someone will share theirs with you. Goodbye, Caillou. Try to smile, honey. I'm sure you'll still have fun. Bye, Mommy. I can't wait to go to the park. Did you bring your green space racer, Caillou? No, we couldn't find it. You can use mine. We'll take turns. Thanks, Leo, but I want to have my own toboggan. Come along, everyone. It's time for lunch. Are you finished your lunch? Yes. Good. Can you come with me for a minute? Well, what do you think? It's just an empty box. It is now, but I think you could make it into something else. What? A toboggan. A toboggan? Yes. We used boxes as toboggans all the time. Some of them were really fast. Would it be all right if I decorated it a little? That's a wonderful idea. I bet your friends will help, too. Caillou spent lots of time decorating his box. He wanted it to look extra special. Like a race car, Caillou? No, I want it to look like the bobsleds I saw on TV. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha
All finished. It looks great. Yeah, I bet it'll go 100 miles an hour. Zoom! I hope so. Thanks for helping me decorate it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure what has more paint on it. The toboggan or your faces? <laughs> <laughs> Let's clean up, everyone. It's almost time to go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> when Caillou and his friends got to the park, they had all sorts of fun playing in the snow. Ready to go to bargaining. I am ready. Come on, Caillou. What are you waiting for? What if my toboggan won't slide? Miss Martin said it would. Come on. I'll race it to the top of the hill. Is everyone ready? Ready? Ready, ready, set, go! Toboggan, Caillou? I want to turn, too. Sure. Everybody can have a turn. Yay! 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 <laughs> Caillou was proud of the toboggan he'd made and was glad it was big enough to share with his friends. <laughs> 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 